Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that how many words you can form with the letters of the word Mississippi. So if I write that word, this is the word Mississippi and they have asked us how many different words you can form by jumbling the letters in the word of Mississippi in which no two S are adjacent. So no two S should be together in this letters of the word Mississippi. And if I see the answer choices that are given to us here, the answers are eight times 6c4 into 7c4 next option given to me here is 6 times 7 times 8c4 the third option given to me here is 6 times 8 times 7c4 and the last option given to me here is 7 times 6c4 into 8c4 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us so let's solve this idea. So now if I arrange my letters of the word Mississippi except S, I can arrange that word as here if I see M is repeated one time, P is repeated two times. So if I write that, M is one times, P is two times, I it is four times and S it is also four times. I is four times, S is also four times. So when I have these letters of the word Mississippi, where I and S are repeated four times and P is repeated two times and M is repeated one time, it, if except S, if I write all the letters here, I have M, then uh, I have I four times and I have P two times. And when I have been told that S two S cannot be together, means I can arrange all the letters of the word S between these letters so that they cannot be written. So first of all, I can have my letters S anywhere in between these places. So how many places are possible to keep for S here? So let's count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically I can place S in any 4 out of 8 positions that are provided here so that the two S will not be together. So first of all, before doing that, if I see for the letters of word except S, I have seven letters and this seven letters that I have can be arranged in seven factorial ways because we already know N letters can be arranged in a straight line in N factorial ways. So seven letters, I can arrange them in seven factorial ways. I divide by I repeating four times, so four factorial, P repeating two times, so two factorial. You get this entire thing that I can arrange these seven letters in this many ways first. Then I have eight vacant spaces to place the four S that I have. So basically out of that eight positions, I can place S any four ways so i can basically select out of eight options i have any four options to place the value of s and when i place those four s let's say i place them here 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 and here so if i place this four s i have arranged these letters of the word s in four factorial ways but i divide by the number of repetitions also so i divide by s repeating four times so four factorial so these are the total number of ways in which we can arrange the letters of the word Mississippi with this condition where no two is are together or acting to each other. So let's solve for this. So you get this as 4 factorial and 4 factorial getting cancelled out. You are left with 7 factorial which is 7 into 6 factorial over 4 factorial into 2 factorial into you have 8c4 
So you get that as HC4. Now, once I see this, n factorial over r factorial and 2 i can write that as n minus r so 6 minus 4 factorial so you can write that as 7 times 6 c4 into 8 c4 so i have just used the idea of n factorial over r factorial into n minus r factorial that is n c r so i get that as 6 c4 into 8 c4 and if I see that answer choice, it matches with option. So D becomes the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of solving or arranging the letters of word with the conditions where two letters are not together. So you get the answer as option D. So first of all, we arranged without S all the letters and we found seven letters can be arranged in seven factorial dividing by the number of times the letter is repeated. So I repeats four times, so four factorial, and P repeats two times, so two factorial. Then for the eight positions which are between the letters that are present, I can place in any four of those eight positions S here, so that the S won't be together. So I can select out of eight any four positions, so eight C four, and then we are arranging this four S, so four factorial, because we are arranging them in a straight line and dividing by the number of times that letter is repeated. So you get that as after solving and it becomes matching with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question given this. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of arranging the letters of the word. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th, as well as JWE mates. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.